What are the big main components that actually make a difference to whether your video ad performs well and gets results for your business or absolutely tanks? You could tick the first two boxes but fail the third and I don't think that ad will do very well. You're not gonna interest anyone. Firstly, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Pemothy. I'm the founder of adclients.com and we help you create, launch, and scale your business on the internet. And I'm excited you're here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the three things that make up a high converting video ad. And this is backed not by just theory, not by something I've heard and I'm just gonna regurgitate it in a YouTube ad. This is real world experience. Myself and my team, we've scaled our coaching business now to multiple six figures every single month. We've done that consistently and, um, and we've used video ads. That is the main driver, 95% of what we do is video ads across YouTube, across Facebook, Instagram, and we found a bit of a formula. Now, what I'm gonna be talking about in today's video is not the script, I'm not gonna be telling you what to say in your ad. I've got other videos for that. And if you ever become a client, we work with our clients on their scripts to get them perfect. But I'm gonna talk about the, the stuff that's big picture, right? You've got your video ad. What are the big main components that actually make a difference to whether your video ad performs well and gets results for your business or absolutely tanks? And I was inspired to make this video because I was just on one of our private client uh, Q&A calls and one of our clients asked this question, but he asked it in this way. He said, look, I've just gone to a field to shoot some ads because I wanted to get out and about, get some greenery, get some color, get some sunlight. Was that a good idea for my video ad? Is that gonna actually help it? Is that gonna make a difference? Or should I just shoot them in my home office? And it got me thinking, actually, when it comes to the success of your video ad, there's only really three things that you've got to satisfy. And if you satisfy these three things, it doesn't matter if you're out and about, it doesn't matter if you're in your home office, it doesn't matter if you're on a train or on top of a horse, it really does not matter if you get these three things right. So let's get into them. So the first thing that you need is good messaging, okay? The messaging is who you are speaking to and how you're speaking to them, right? You gotta first identify before you create a video ad, who is it that you're actually wanting this ad to attract, right? What, what are their pains? What are their, their desires? What are their frustrations? What have they tried before that hasn't worked? Like you gotta do some research on them. Research in the sense of go into Facebook groups, go into forums, do some Google searches, find out from the horse's mouth like what they're struggling with. And the other side of research is just putting yourself in the mind of your visitor. If you were in their position, if you were in their shoes, how would you be feeling? Or perhaps you have your business because you used to struggle with the very thing that they are struggling with now. So you've lived it, you've been through it. So you've got to put your newbie hat back on, go back to when you were struggling in your thinking and how did you feel? What were you frustrated by? What were your pains? What were your frustrations? All that same stuff. And then you craft a message that speaks to them. You could have a phenomenal ad. You could buy all the fancy pants equipment. But if you have a terrible message that is not crafted to speak to your ideal clients, then that ad is not gonna work. So messaging is number one. Number two is delivery of that message. You could have a fantastic script that speaks to your ideal customers and ideal clients and it's, it's all set up for success, but if you deliver it like this and you've got no tonality and there's no cadence in your voice, you're just talking like this, you're not gonna interest anyone, okay? And if you're umming and ahhing a little bit too much, sometimes that's, that's okay, right? To, to do a, a slight stutter or to um and ah just a couple times throughout an ad, but if you're consistently doing that, if you look and feel like you're not very confident in what you're, uh, you know, with what you're saying. And if it's just, if the delivery is all off, if you're boring, if your tone's not right, if you're not excited, if you don't look confident, you could have a great script, but you're gonna ruin it by the way that you are delivering it. And people won't be able to connect with you, right? If you're doing a video ad for social media, you are stopping someone while they are scrolling their newsfeed or watching videos. And if that's the case, then you've only got a few seconds to grab their attention. And so yes, the script is important, but now the way you deliver it is what's actually gonna you know, grab their attention and, and, and draw them in. So delivery is number two. The third thing is high quality video, okay? Now, let me be really clear. What I mean by high quality video, you do not need the tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment that we have here in our studio. That's not what you need. If you have it, great. If you have the budget to go find a videographer, great. If you wanna work with us, we actually have a video production side of our company. So if you wanna come into our studio, you can do that, great. If you've got budget for that type of thing, 
Fantastic. What I'm talking about is even bringing it right back to just filming on your iPhone, which by the way, the footage on here is already pretty great and the same is could be said for, you know, all the smartphones out right now. But we can jazz it up a little bit. We can make sure that we've got some good lighting. Does that need to be a big fancy light like I'm looking at right now? No. It could just be you making sure you're facing a window on a on a cloudy day so that you're getting nice even uh, natural daylight hitting your face. It's a case of thinking, okay, shall I plug some headphones in? Shall I buy a little Rode mic so that I can actually plug in a little lapel, which by the way, they cost about 30 bucks, throw something like that on to get some better audio. Like those two things right there. In fact, the third thing is the position, like where are you? You know, are you gonna go up against just a white wall? Are you, are you, gonna, are you gonna put something in the background? Are you gonna have, you know, um, a little bit of depth of field, you know, perhaps, right? Like if you can just make the video come across as a little bit more professional, and high quality, that's gonna make a big difference. So let me put this into context. You could tick the first two boxes, but fail the third, and I don't think that ad will do very well. You could have a fantastic script that you deliver really, really well, but if you are in a dark, dingy room with terrible lighting that's cutting halfway down your face, and your audio is all crackly because you've got terrible audio, or you've got a big echo behind you, no one's gonna pay attention to that ad. So you gotta satisfy these three things good script, delivered well, and then you've got to make sure that it's uh, in some way high quality, sounds good and looks good. If you do those three things, you are primed and ready with an ad that should do well. And to circle back to the question that came in from my client, and this is the way that I answered it for him, I said, if you satisfy those three things, it doesn't really matter where you are. You could be walking in a field, you could be at home, you know, in your, in your office, you could be by your laptop, you could be, you know, anywhere. You could be doing a walk and talk down your local high street. It doesn't actually matter at that point. Now, there is a couple of exceptions to that rule, which is if there is something that would be clearly a good addition to your topic. If you are teaching dog walking, then perhaps being outside with your dog, that would be a good idea. If you teach marketing or something to do with with business, perhaps being in your home office with your bookshelf or a laptop in, like you see what I'm saying, that makes sense. So you can go that extra mile to create something that feels topical, but that's not the most important thing. The three things that I've shared with you are. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. We put out a couple new videos like this every single week. I think you'll really enjoy it. I've got other videos on the channel that go into the ad scripting process. If you wanna learn more about the messaging. And also don't forget, there's a link in the description box and the top comment to a training that I have. If you want to go deeper on this topic of creating video ads that run online and generate a profitable ROI for your business, we can teach it to you and we can take you through the whole shebang. And, uh, and I'd love it if you check that out and see if it's a good fit to so click that link. And finally, encourage us on this video. Let us know that you enjoyed this content. Go ahead, give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment. We love reading through those and I'll see you in a future video.